Hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, um, I'm going to be talking about a topic which I should have talked more about in the past. So I guess this video is kind of delayed. But before I do that, I want to encourage you to go down to the comment section of all my videos, or any of my videos, I should say. Because in the comment section, as you can see, I put a long comment with a bunch of evidence in favor of Christianity. So if you're not a Christian and if you're, you're a skeptic, I encourage you to read this evidence, examine it. And if you're a Christian, I also encourage you to read this evidence and please spread it. You can spread it through social media. You can spread it or print it out and give it to people if you have to. Also, in the description box of all my videos, I have a message about the end times, the rapture, the second coming. I also encourage you to read this and spread it. So the topic today I'm going to be talking about is love. As you know, in this video, which I made titled, I saw God and this is what he said. I'll include a link to this video in the description box of the video you're watching right now. So look forward to that too. So as you know, in this video, Jesus Christ, in a way, he rebuked me because he revealed himself to me. I saw him and then he showed me a big banner that read love. And this happened after um, I was kind of evangelizing on YouTube, but I was not really showing the love I needed to show. I was kind of being mean. I was being harsh. And we should never do that as Christians because by being mean and harsh, we literally turn people off from Christianity. Imagine that's a serious offense when someone is kind of thinking about being a Christian and because you're mean or you're harsh and you're not showing them love, you're you're being you're just being rude, I should say. And if that person turns away from Christianity, it's going to be your fault. And I've been guilty of this. I, I, I admit it. I acknowledge it. I turned people off away from Christianity. Now I've been in this YouTube ministry for a couple of months now. I have to admit, I made many, many, many mistakes, which I, which I wish I could take back, but I can't. So that's why I want to, I want to make this video to encourage you guys to remember the Bible. The Bible has so much to say about love. I'll be reading a few verses to you guys in a bit, but now I want to talk to you about this evidence. When you when you re, when you want to reach people and whether they're a Muslim, whether they're an atheist, whether they're a New Ager, whatever they may be, when they ask for evidence for Christianity presented, there's mountains and mountains of evidence for Christianity. Just go to my comment and copy paste whatever you have to. For example, we have two thousand fulfilled Bible prophecies that the Bible is from God. Every time the Bible predicts the future, that's evidence that it's divinely inspired. We have facts from the Bible. We have preservation of the Bible. We have testimonies of near-death experiences, supernatural experiences. And I've experienced these. I know for myself. I can testify that God is real because I've seen Him. I've been blessed with visions with Him. But not only this. This evidence is very important. Okay, Evidence for Christianity is very important because we have lots of evidence for Christianity. So when people ask for evidence, give them the evidence they need. But don't forget the love. Please do not forget the love. This evidence is great. It's great and all. But if you present this evidence, but you don't present love, immediately you're going to turn the people off from Christianity. You can, have, you can be the greatest Christian apologist. But if you're mean or if you're rude, your, your Christian apologetics mean, means nothing because you're not going if to, you, if you act like a jerk, you're not going to bring anybody to Christ. So if you get into arguments with atheists, Muslims, whatever they may be, Give them the evidence that they want, but please never forget the love. The love with the evidence, with God moving in their lives, that's what's going to convert the people. But the love is very important. So let's read some verses from the Bible about love. So John 13, 34. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another just as I have loved you. You also are to love one another. In that verse, that's Jesus speaking. Remember, remember all the mistakes we made as Christians, but even after all that, God forgave us and he, and he showed us love. Imagine if God, as we are sinners, right? And God showed us all this love. He even died on the cross for our sins, right? After all the, all, after all the sins we committed, after all the times we spit in God's face, he showed us love. So if God showed us the amount of love that he shows us, how much more are we to show our fellow human be beings who are sinners just like we are? So please don't forget the love. And there's a Bible verse that I really like. 
it's from it's from first corinthians 13 um paul says and if i have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge and if i have all faith so as to remove mountains but have not love i am nothing if i give away all i have and if i deliver up my body to be burned but have not love i gain nothing love is patient and kind Lo love does not envy or boast it is not arrogant or rude. So imagine, this is from 1 Corinthians 13. This is, I, I love this verse. This love is so powerful because I wish, I wish I really, to, to bring people to Christ with love, I wish, I wish I, I did that more in the past. Because in the past, I thought, okay, look, if I show this person that, look, the Bible has predicted the future time and time again, they'll immediately become Christian, but that's not it. The evidence is great. We should always show the evidence to people. But let's say if I present the evidence, but I, I show no love, it's going to be so much harder for the person to convert. So please, take the evidence, add the love to it, and present it to people. And I've been, I've been guilty of... I've been guilty... I mean... To, to, I... I I have to admit, I have blood on my hands because I turned people off from Christianity just because to certain people I did not show love. Let's say if someone was rude to me, if someone was was mocking me, I've been guilty even in the past. I did I did the same exact thing they did to me. I, I mocked them back. I was rude to them and we should never do that. If If people mock us, if people hate us, we have to love the person back because that's what Christ commands us to do. Because he loved us, we have to love them back. And I get it, we Christians might not be the most liked people on earth, but whatever people may say about us, don't forget the love. Our worst enemies, we have to love our enemies and we have to pray for them. And show no racism. You cannot be a Christian and be a racist. Show no racism. And love your fellow Christians, I get it. There may be a Christian that does not agree with you, but you got to show them love. Please never forget that. It's very important. For example, this verse, which I really like, Romans 13, 10, it says, Love does no wrong to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the filling of the law. Fulfilling of the law, I should say. And that's very powerful. If we, if we look to the New Testament, I mean, there's so much love in the New Testament that it's, the way Christ loved us, I mean, Jesus Christ humbled himself. He became a man. He died for our sins. That's the greatest act of love. And, and I want to remind you, if, if let's say you're being, you're being rude, if you're being a jerk to a non-Christian and you turn them off from Christianity and because of you, they'll never ever be a Christian again because now they hate Christians, their blood is going to be on your hands. So I want to encourage you to be very careful. Sometimes... We play with fire and we don't even know it. Imagine you being in heaven for eternity, but knowing that because you said something to a certain person, they rejected Christ, they rejected God, and because of that, they were judged and they went to hell. Imagine how bad you will feel for eternity, knowing that you have blood on your hands. So please, like I said, I made so many mistakes in the past and I don't want you to, all the new and upcoming Christians, please don't make the mistakes I make. Don't have blood on your hands like I have blood on my hands. I'm guilty of it. And I know because because certain comments I posted on there, some people's videos or cer certain things I said, I turned people off from Christianity and I drove them away. And it's completely my fault and I confess it, I admit it. What can I do about it? The only thing I can do about it now is show, show love to the people that... Show love to whoever I come across. That's the only way. I, I can't make up for the blood that I have on my hands, but at least I can show love to the people that I come across. And maybe with the love of Christ, may, maybe with the evidence I present, I can bring new people to Christ. So I want you guys to learn from my mistakes. Please don't repeat the same mistakes as I do. No matter if, if you get online and you and you have atheists cussing at you, if you have if you're getting into arguments with Muslims or New Agers, whatever it may be, just if they cuss at you, never cuss back. Tell them, Jesus Christ commands me to love. I'm not going to insult you no matter what you may say about me. 
I will show you love back because as as a fellow human being, one human to another, that is my obligation. That is my responsibility. So this is what I want to talk to you guys about. Please, like I said, don't make the same mistakes as I do. And in, in this video, I saw God and this is what he said. God rebuked me because I was not being a loving Christian. I was turning people off away from Christianity. And I, I now realize my sin. I now realize my error. And I have to live with that for eternity. And I, I feel guilty. I have to admit it. I feel guilty and as I should because I did I did harm. I did wrong. So to all the people that I may have come across and I did not show you love, if I, if I basically, if I was being a jerk or if I turned you off from Christianity, I want to apologize. I, I take the guilt. It's completely my fault. It's not your fault. It's my fault. I apologize and I pray that you forgive me. And to all the people that did me wrong, I forgive them because Christ forgave me, a wicked sinner. If Christ forgive, forgave me, who am I to not forgive? other people. So thank you guys for watching. God bless and all glory to God.